In this video we're going to be looking at isotopes. Now an isotope is defined as an element with the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. So let's have a look at an example of a carbon atom. Now the nucleus is relatively small in comparison to the rest of the atom. So we're going to take a closer look here. So in this atom we have six protons and six neutrons. So you say the mass number of this atom is 12. Because it's carbon we can also refer to as carbon 12. Now if you add say another neutron to this you've now changed the mass number and what, you've got a different isotope now and this is called carbon 13 and if you remove say uh, two neutrons you've now got a mass number of 11 and this now becomes carbon 11. So this is basically what an isotope is, it just has a different number of neutrons. Be careful not to even try to change the protons because if you do that you are basically creating a different element and it's no longer an isotope. So now I'm going to move on to calculating relative atomic mass. So if you look at chlorine on a periodic table, you will see that it has a relative atomic mass of 35.5. And you're probably wondering how they came to this number uh, because you can't actually have half a neutron. So let's say we have a jar of chlorine atoms. I'm just going to zoom into this. And in this jar, we have 100 atoms of chlorine. If you count up, you will see that there are 75 atoms that have a mass of 35. So in this case, the chlorine 35 isotope. And 25 atoms have a mass of 37, or the chlorine 37 isotope. So what we have to do here is to use this information to calculate the relative atomic mass of chlorine. So we do 75 times 35, because there are 75 particles of chlorine 35. I'm just going to put that in brackets as well. We then add that to the other isotope. So we have 25 particles times 37 because there are 25 particles of chlorine 37 and then you simply divide the whole thing by 100 because there are 100 particles in total and so your final answer should be 35.5 which is the relative atomic mass of chlorine. Okay I want you to apply your knowledge now and answer this question. So once again, you have to calculate the relative atomic mass of nitrogen, taking into account the isotope nitrogen-14 and the isotope nitrogen-15. You can pause the video and have a go at this yourself. Okay, so here's the answer. Even though you've got the question in percentages, you can still think of it as a number of particles. So you've got 99.64 particles of nitrogen-14. So you do 14 times 99.64. You then do the same thing for nitrogen 15, so you do 15 times 0 0.36, divide the whole thing by 100, and your final answer should be 14.0036 as the relative atomic mass of nitrogen.